For many people, the most Kenya they've experienced is Lindsay Lohan's awkward Jambo in the film Mean Girls. There's more to Kenya than Jambo, and we're here to bring you facts about the Jumping Tribe, Kenya's huge crack, a women's only village, warm beer, and how Obama is connected. Here are 15 things you didn't know about Kenya. Number 1. Kenya has its own monopoly game. Forget St. James Place or New York Avenue, Kenya has its own monopoly game called Kumiliki. The rules are the same. Hot property changes hands as players build up their wealth through acquiring good assets. In Kumiliki, the hottest properties are Mathaiga, the area where the president lives, and the home of Karen Blixen from the famous biography Out of Africa. No top haps or ships here. In the OG version, soapstone animals are hand carved, and in the upgraded version, even the huts in place of houses are hand carved stone. We especially love the name for the pink community chest cards. In Kenya's Swahili language, it's Bahati. But more on Kenya's mother tongues coming up soon. Number 2. School is free. In 2003, the then president Mwai Kibaki declared schooling free once more. Kimani Marouge, an 84 year old farmer, signed up to primary school. He was elected head boy at the age of 86 and was the world's oldest person to enroll in primary school. In 2009, an audit of Kenya's education reaped poor results, so the system has been revised in recent years to uplift the standard of education. We wish Kenya all the best with this initiative. At Alex, we know that education unlocks the world. And Aluxers, don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we head into number three. Most tourists miss the beaches, but they're beautiful. When people think of Kenya, they picture grassy plains and animal migrations, but Kenya has 536 kilometers of beautiful Indian Ocean coastline. The warm waters, fine white sand, and protected coral reefs are some of the world's best. Beach resorts and hotel chains offer you a similar experience to any international destination, but at affordable rates. Beaches are shark-free, so take a dip at Diani, Watamu, or Malindi Beach to name a few. Number 4. There's a woman-only village. It sounds like a fairy tale come true for some, but it's reality. Kenya has a village that is 100% women-only. Sadly, Umocha Village wasn't created out of a happy ending. Rebecca Lolosoli founded the village in 1990. She had been beaten and thrown out of her community for disagreeing with female genital mutilation practices. Umoja means unity in Swahili, and it started with 15 villagers. Now there are 37 women and children. They construct their own homes and have made a school. The village is more than a haven, it's a turning point in Kenya's history. The women of Umocha are in talks to be granted the title deed to a tract of grazing land by the county government. This will be a huge advancement for women's rights in Kenya as according to Kenya Land Alliance, women in Kenya own less than 2% of all titled land. Number 5. Kenya has 68 spoken languages. Nope, I'm not speaking in Swahili. Kenya indeed has 68 languages. Swahili and English are the official languages of Kenya, but over a million people speak the languages of Kaikuyu, Luo, and Luya, as well as Kamba and Kalenjin. And if you'd like to hear some of those languages, we suggest booking your trip by using Airbnb. We always use it, so we partner with them to give you a discount. Go to alux.com slash Airbnb and get $25 off your first trip. Number 6. Kenya doesn't have four seasons. In Kenya, you can forget about four seasons. There aren't the kinds of seasonal definitions of a New York autumn or a springtime in Paris. In Kenya, the climate is much milder with just two seasons, really. The rainy season and the dry season. Except for the coastal regions that can get humid and reach 30 degrees or the mountainous areas where it can get pretty cold, most of Kenya is mild all the time. Number 7. Run Kenya Run 
The Kalenjin tribe is known as the running tribe because of their unprecedented amount of world-breaking runners they produce. The small tribe have been studied by sports scientists who are convinced that superior genetics are what contributes to their athletic success. However, many think that the Kalenjin's training environment and the high starch diet are really what gives them their advantage. Number 8. Maasai Tribe you know those videos of people you see jumping head height? Well, that's the Maasai tribe. The jumping dance is called Adamu. It's practiced by the one million strong tribe as a coming of age tradition. It's also one of the ways young men attract a bride. The Maasai men can jump as high as eight feet off the ground. That's on the spot, no running start. Give it a try and let us know how you make out. Number nine. Lamu Island is an island with no traffic lights. Kenya's Lamu Island has no cars. Travel is by foot, donkey, or dhow. There are only two cars on the island, one owned by the governor and only for official occasions, the other, an ambulance for donkeys. The island is a leisure paradise with sandy beaches, fishing, and endless local cuisine. Lamu has small winding roads that are perfect for exploring the island pole pole, a Swahili phrase for slow or laid back living. Number 10, you can straddle the equator. Why choose one hemisphere when you can be in both at the same time? The equator runs right through Kenya and you can visit the line and jump back and forth to your heart's content. There are all kinds of fun signs and markings all through Kenya at the equator line. These make your photos even more authentic to prove that you visited Middle Earth. Number 11. Kenya has a 6,000 kilometer crack. Plumbers have nothing on Kenya's crack. 20 million years ago, the Earth's crust cracked open when the supercontinent of Pangaea broke into smaller continents. This formed the Great Rift Valley in Kenya. The giant valley is nearly 6,000 kilometers long, 220 kilometers wide, and up to 2 kilometers deep. By comparison, the Grand Canyon is only 277 kilometers long, 18 kilometers wide, and 1.8 kilometers deep at its maximum. Number 12. Women are empowered. Kenya boasts a lot of prize winners, but one particularly notable winner is Professor Wangari Mathai. In 2004, she was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for her conservation and environmental work and her dedication to women's rights. She was the first African woman to win the prize, as well as the first environmentalist to ever win a Nobel Peace Prize. Asante sana, Professor Mathai. Number 13. The Wildebeest Migration Every July to October, the plains of the Masai Mara National Reserve are on the move. During the season, over 2 million animals will migrate from the Serengeti National Park in neighboring Tanzania to Kenya's greener pastures. The natural spectacle is described as a sea of moving animals. This great migration is listed as one of the seven new wonders of the world. Number 14. What is the Obama connection? Was Trump right about Obama? Trump loved to lament that the former president was a foreigner born in an ever-changing number of exotic places. Here's the truth behind the Obama-Kenya connection. Barack Hussein Obama Sr. was a Kenyan senior governmental economist and the father of former U.S. President Barack Obama. He was born in 1934 in Rachuonyu District on the shores of Lake Victoria. His family was part of the Luo ethnic group. He was selected to attend college in the United States and studied at the University of Hawaii. There, he met and married his wife, and together they welcomed a baby boy, Barack Obama Jr. Number 15. Kenya produces the most coffee and drinks the least. When you consider the amount of coffee that comes from Kenya, you probably think that the black gold that gets you up in the morning is a firm favorite in the country of origin. But the truth is that Kenyan locals don't really care much for coffee for themselves. Kenya exports over $20 million worth of coffee monthly. So Alexers, we're curious. What's the number one reason why you'll visit Kenya? Please share with us in the community in the comments. Now, you stuck with us until the end, of course, we've got a bonus for you. 
not cool but warm beer is the thing in Kenya. Tuskers is the local beer brand of Kenya. If you think at the end of the day you'll crack open a cold one in Kenya, you'll be mistaken. Kenyans believe it is unhealthy to drink ice-cold drinks, so they enjoy their cool drink and beer at room temperature. Obviously, at hotels and restaurants geared toward foreign tourists, you can usually request a refrigerated beer. We'll drink to that. Thanks for watching, Aluxers. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this one a thumbs up.